Bioengineering is now paying off in a big way, in new understanding of how life works, in new weapons against AIDS, and new drugs against fatal diseases. For patients with bad kidneys having their blood washed by machine, there's a new drug that stimulates the growth of red blood cells. These patients often suffer from severe, sometimes fatal anemia. The drug is called erythropoietin. It's naturally found in blood in small amounts. Now scientists have made copies in large amounts using genetic engineering. And yesterday, the Food and Drug Administration approved it for sale and use. The rapidity with which biogenetic engineering is changing the pace of biology is astounding. It all comes from moving one little piece of chemical, a gene, from one cell to another. And to create new proteins or old proteins that can be put to use. In England, scientists have created an experimental vaccine against AIDS. It uses the weakened poliovirus vaccine. Dr. Vincent Racaniello of Columbia University discovered the technique used by the British research team. I think if this report is correct, that it, it's going to be fabulous. Inside that poliovirus, there is a long early molecule called RNA. It carries the genetic data that the virus uses to multiply. Scientists took out the RNA, converted it to DNA, a double spiral molecule. The new molecule holds the same information. The scientists then removed a chunk of the DNA and replaced it with the genetic code for a piece of protein from the AIDS virus. They now inserted the changed DNA into an animal cell. Out came the new polio virus by the hundreds. Close look shows that the new virus has the AIDS virus protein. So by giving the new polio virus to a rabbit, the rabbit's blood now makes antibodies to the AIDS virus. And it could do the same in human beings. The 1980s have been the decade of discovery in biogenetic engineering. And with the rapid development of all the new drugs as a result, the decade of the 1990s will be the decade of therapy. Today's Health Watch. I'm Earl Ubell, Channel 2 News.